What inspired you to run for the mayor at 18? Before we move on to that question, can I add something to that? Sure. You know, I got elected mayor this past Tuesday night, and uh, it's my dream job, and I'm grateful to be sitting on the sofa right along with the most brief living dream girl here. Thank yeah. you. But it all started with, in the Student Government Association at Earl High School, um, my seventh grade year. And within an organization, not only we made a difference within the school, but we made a difference in the community. And so that organization drove me to here, where I am today as the mayor-elect of Earl, Arkansas. Can you tell us about um, Earl, Arkansas? Earl is a small town, like half out, half hour on the outside of Memphis. And Earl is like a family town where everybody loves each other. When someone feels short, it, you know, everybody comes together to help each other. And we're surrounded by farmland where they grow cotton, beans, and uh, crops and different things like that. But Earl is a town where we just love each other and we're, we're here to help, you know. Mm. Can you tell us what was your final vote count? My final vote count was 235 votes. And what do you hope to accomplish during your term? Um, hope to accomplish public safety, uh, beautifying the city, grocery store, and public transportation. Like now, we don't have a 24-7 police department, but I want to help to improve that we can have a 24-7 police department in seven days a week. Not only that, but with public transportation, get our elderly from, to and from, from the doctor's office to the grocery store. <laughs> Then also, then also with beautifying our city, I want to partner with different churches and our Chamber of Commerce to help keep our city clean. You got a vision, that's yeah. for sure. And you're in college. That's the, you have a lot on your plate. Like, how are you handling college and being the mayor? Well, now since I became the mayor, I would uh, go to college online and do my mayor duties through the day. And when I get home, do my online college. Mm. Yeah. Well, young man, do you ever miss any classes? I don't miss any classes. My professors are very understanding. You know, sometimes I wish I could be at five places at once, but I can't. You so. can't. Okay. And so they're very understanding with college. <laughs> Do you have any advice for young politicians like yourself? Well, the advice I want to give them, if you have a heart, if, you're, if your heart desire to be, make a difference in your community, no matter how, what age you are, I, I, I want you to do just that. No matter what people say, when I was running, When I was running for mayor, uh, people told me I was too young, I didn't know anything, and I, just and I just graduated high school. But my heart desired me to run for mayor, and so I did just that. You know, I, was, I say negative uh, energy is mo motivates me to move forward and mm. prove people wrong. Mm. <laughs> do, you, do you live at home with your mom? Yes, I still stay with my you mom. You still yeah. stay at home with your yeah. <laughs> Wow, this is something interesting. That is amazing. Um, I'm curious to know, what do you see yourself doing when you get 28? Well, right now, you know, my focus is with the city, but when I'm 28, I'm probably, probably a senator, state representative. I see that. Yeah. yeah. Working my way up to find, working my way up to want to be the president of the United States. I believe States it. I, can I shake your hand, future <laughs> president? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank Keep you. on doing what you're doing. Don't forget to subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so you're the first to see our latest videos.